So now we're walking through the front of the property here and you can tell by the landscaping that they trim the grass and do things like that. It looks like there's a couple of areas of opportunity that we could really make it pop, but it's no slouching property. It's definitely some high quality stuff here. Show you some of the landscaping that I'm talking about. Have some trees that were recently planted in. Haven't reached full maturity yet. It's like easy to maintain shrubbery. It's a beautiful, beautiful leasing office attached to some of the units. You know, those, those are your first impressions, right? Yeah, just Giselle has, is saying that it has that Spanish villa feel. You have a dog park. Still hasn't been completed yet. A lot of trees lining the edge of the property. Like we said, some good opportunity for future upside. When evaluating these properties, you're always thinking, well, here's where the rents are right now. How much more upside do we have? The upside is what us as investors get to enjoy and reap the benefits of, right? We're, we're not looking at short-term investments here. Everything's about, we want it to cash flow, which we said our cash flow definition was making sure that from month one, we want to get that return, right? That's part of our core investment strategy. So after one month of closing, we expect checks every single month. And that's gonna come from having already an established building instead of trying to build completely new. We're not, we're not in the redevelopment business or in the um, purchase and, and construction portion of this business so we're looking around making sure that month one we're getting returns and then we think about what's our upside our upside is that appreciation of our capital over time we're not in a get rich quick scheme we're in it to get rich for sure so over time we know that real estate historically has always gone up it's always a demand and if you just think about yourself when did you ever have a landlord say to you, yeah, I'm gonna offer you less rent this, this year when you sign up this lease. Year over year, they're going up, right? So the upside for us is appreciation in our pockets and the way we structure each and every one of every our, our deals here is we make sure that we're getting a preferred rate of return. So that means as investors, we put money in, multiply that by the preferred rate, divide that number, that's our yearly return, divide that number by 12. So every single month when these buildings pay us cash, the renters end up paying that, our business account there, we end up taking up that money and we get paid first as investors, right? The 12 equal payments. And then our job with the property management team is to make sure that there goes Giselle, she always leads our property management team. We make sure that we're going to make sure that these people are trimming costs as much as possible. So Giselle's job is to make sure that we effectively give a great product. This is our product, right? The places that we buy, that's the product. Renters are paying us every single month to live in our product and we want to ensure a great experience. We want to ensure that the landscape is on point. We want to make sure that they get all the services they expect, that pool is clean. We have a few ideas here because it's a more upscale property. We see that they pay for services like valet garbage. What's to stop us from also offering valet 
clothes drop off. It's kind of like a wash and fold service, right, that you have in any other big city. So here, to, just to explain to you what valet is, they charge an extra $25 a month for you to take your garbage bag and on your way to work, just put it out your front door. You don't have to walk all the way over, and I'll show you. Out the building, you'll have to walk all the way over there, right? And then, in order to walk all the way over to your car, which this is just some of the parking lot, right? This is the parking lot for people just entering the building and working in the building, but there's another one back there with garages and such. They pay $25 a month more in order to have the convenience of just dropping off your laundry in front of your door. Good, let's take it one step further. We're thinking providing the same types of service for laundry. That's a premium, right? We'll have somebody in the laundry facilities set it up just like any other wash and fold laundromat. You don't have to worry about the quarters. You basically pay extra every single month in order to put that out there. We notice there's also limited space here when it comes to covered parking. There's plenty of outdoor parking, but uh, according to the documents, it's showing that there's only about 18 to 20 indoor parking storage garages so where's the premium well, supply and basic supply and demand right you want to ensure that there's low supply of parking then you need to pay a premium for that convenient parking spot that's completely protected from the elements completely indoors so now we're gonna walk through the property some more and we'll, we'll show you pictures of some of those units, all right? Talk to you soon. Still looking to evaluate the members of management. That's important, right? Are we going to keep the current management team? Are they doing a good job? And do we feel that it's up to our standards? If not, we'll be training just like in any other business. Giselle will be handling, making sure that they have a clear understanding of our expectations. But uh, right now we're just here to evaluate. We're gonna evaluate them see if they're worthy of being added to our team, see if there's opportunities there for improvement. Sometimes uh, increases in rents are just a matter of changing the management team. You know, I'm sure you've been to places where you could tell either the owner of the property or the management company that the owner hired in order to take care of the property just really didn't care, right? They let anybody they wanted in into a place like that, or they didn't have a great vetting process. So we'll we'll be here to check that over to see if there's any upside potential in appreciation of our investment dollars just by changing the management team or making improvements to said management team. Then the other two things are the process, right? How is it from the experience as far as the renters? start to finish what that process looks like how do they vet them how do they how do they advertise things like that and then the fourth and last item that we evaluate when shopping whether it's residential or commercial properties is competition the prices that everyone else and the services that they're paying within this market or that they're offering in this market will dictate some more upside potential for us so there might be a place down the road that's comparable. We've all heard that if you purchased even single family homes, comparable properties, what type of environment they have, what type of anemones they have, you know, what are they charging for their services. If this management team doesn't really have a pulse on that, that might be some research that we do on our end. We're gonna do it anyway, but 
it might be an opportunity for us to make some more money there because they may be undercharging or they may be overcharging and they don't have such a high vacancy rate, uh, especially as compared to other properties in the neighborhood. So we'll be looking at all of that and that's why it pays for experience to be your business partner. So we've been doing this for 19 years and our investors rely on us to make sure that they get the returns that we plan for. It's just like any other business. We have a business plan in place. We have an area of expertise. We stick to that area of expertise and we already have the systems in place to do it. For those of you saying, you know, hey, I want to start this on my own, it's, it's difficult, you know, from the ground up to start a business like this especially when you don't have your own capital to do it. You know, it's fine if you're gonna buy a property like this for 20 to 50 million and you have your own money to do so and gamble with and potentially throw out, that's, that's fine by you, but uh, in many cases, a, a Legitimate business is not started on, on rookie mistakes and it won't be successful for long. It can't t maintain that stability. So we appreciate you joining us. We appreciate your confidence in what we do here and we look forward to showing you more about this property and what it has to offer.